guy, just start with Hornet to here. I'm here with who? With Rene Pacheco. And what did you do at the national uh, at Mexico? Yeah, I may just made top eight in the WCQ here on Central America. Hey, let's go, let's go. And what deck were you playing? I'm playing Labyrinth Furniture. Yo, aka Reen, aka um, stun deck, trap, flip, purple cards. So um, before into the video, uh, what what made you play this deck besides um all the other decks? Just curious on that part. Um, I was playing this deck actually before uh, Big Welcome was released. Uh, I was first playing it uh, in its chin variation, but I ended up just looking through this version and I thought that if this is a really good medical, um, I consider this deck one of the best at the format. And not the best, but one of the best. And the place, I, I really love the playstyle. I think it's pretty, it's pretty funny uh, how this deck plays and it just has uh, an out for everything. So yeah, that, that's the main reason I, I play this deck. Yeah, that is true. And you also um, don't have to think too many um, routes besides just know how to uh, flip your cards at the right time. And it's super powerful. And yeah, it's a good meta call. Students at three currently. Um, before we get into the video, uh, you want to give any shout outs, by the way? Yeah, I, I want to give a shout out to to my sponsor and my team, Dragon Inc., uh, my team, Armageddon, um, to my girlfriend, and my sponsor, Brian. Who helped me to get uh, the calls that the, the cards that I needed uh, just to play the event? So yeah, shout outs to everyone. Hey, let's go, let's go. All right, ready when you are, Reen. Sure. Um, I'm gonna start with the main deck. Uh, so I played one lovely labyrinth. Um, the reasoning behind this card, well, this is one of the heart and soul of the deck, even if this is one of the bricks, because these cards allow you to recycle your cards. Um, uh, allows you to recycle your cards, allows you to, to pop cards. Uh, in big events, uh, helps you to to know uh, in turn zero w which deck are your opponent playing, so you can start playing around that. Um, then I played uh, two uh, Lady. Uh, before of this, I was playing three Lady, but I ended up just playing two because uh, three is pretty bricky, and this version is different from the stun version. Um, because you don't need to hard or this card just because there is a lot of starters in the deck. So uh, this this was like a perfect number for me. I didn't need it more. Uh, two was uh, was more than perfect. Then I played Triple Oriana. Um, she's the main searcher. Uh, she's the best card, one of the best cards in the deck because um, if you draw draw this card and other other labyrinth cards, you, you know which card you need to search. So uh, yeah, this is like the overall core of the deck. Uh, now for the furniture, so I'm playing three sh uh, uh, Chandelier and three uh, Stoby Torby. This these cards are are insane. Th these cards are amazing. Um, I think these cards were overlooked at the start, but uh, the more I play them, the more I love them. Just because how how good uh, resourceful these cards are. So I'm playing three of each and I'm playing one uh, Blue Clock. Uh, this card helps a lot to do, uh, do turn zero uh, combos. For example, uh, with only this card and one furniture card, you can start like um, with Lady, with with Lovely Sorry and Big Welcome, pop a monster, pop a card on your opponent's uh, hand and get information and this car helps you to make like turbo uh, turn zero virus or barrier depending on the deck that you're playing against so yeah th this card is pretty good now uh i'll jump into these uh hand traps i played three troller lockbird uh i was expecting like um rook decks um decks that do a lot of searches and it was okay it, it wasn't one of the best cards in the format and this format, it was good, but it wasn't overwhelming. So I, I think that I wouldn't play it anymore. Uh, three Ashes, um, just the best hand trap, um, I think, because of the versatility. I really love this card. Uh, three Imperm uh, have synergy with the deck just because of the trap card. And this is one of the best hand traps in the format, too, because this hits like uh, almost every deck. It's a good six card. Um, yeah. Pretty good overall, and the worst card of my deck, I think, it will be these three bells. 
Uh, I played Bell because I thought that I would see like a lot of branded, uh, a lot of mirror matches, etc. But um, just made it like uh, against one mirror match in the whole tournament, and it was like more than 15 rounds. So uh, yeah, this was like the most mediocre card. Uh, if I drew her like alone, it, she wasn't doing anything. She was more like Shandragli or Food more than anything. But yeah, th these are my hand traps. Um, now for spell cards, uh, I played Triple Pot of Extravagance and Wild Labyrinth Labyrinth. I preferred Extravagance over Prosperity just because um, because the, the furniture cards can put you in a situation that you need to discard cards. So uh, just giving you the plus one, it's better just like finding the right card like you did in, in the Stone deck. So yeah, the, this pot was amazing. I really liked it. And the Labyrinth, the Field Spell, um, it's a choice. Um, you can play it or you cannot play it, but I really like this card just because um, the non-targeting pop effect is, is, is pretty strong. Uh, and it gives you a lot of advantage on the mirror match. I really like this card. Now for the trap cards, I'm playing two regular uh, Welcome Labyrinth. Um, only two because uh, you play like six starters to get this card. So you don't need more of, of this copy. Actually, if you draw like more than one of this, and most of the times it's pretty bad. It's, it's like a pseudo brick, so I'm not a fan of playing multiples of this. And this quantity was perfect. Uh, Tribute Welcome Labyrinth, this is the best part of the deck, uh, hands down. Just um, being able to enable all your pops, having an interruption on your graveyard is so big. Uh, I really like this is the best part of the deck. This, this, this is the card that makes this deck so good. Um, then for the... For the toolbox trap cards, I play one Terrors of the Overwood. Uh, this card came in clutch really good because this is really good against cash. And surprisingly, this is good against Sprite just because uh, you're playing like the Runic variant. This just destroys, well, sends to the graveyard the fountain, and they just cannot protect the fountain because uh, this sends to the graveyard. It, it doesn't destroy the card. So this is pretty good. And against cash, uh, just being able to uh, send the the monster that they have and set on our monster just disables the whole, almost the whole board. It, it's a really good card. One punishment, yeah, the, the, this card is insane. Uh, I cannot say anything else. And the Roma Doll Cannon, um, yeah, the, the, this card is insane. Um, helped me a lot against cash. This, this card is really good against cash. And I was playing this card um, because it's really good. It's a really good and consistent out to any um towers monster uh, like the noir uh, pearly noir so yeah i really like this card and the last three cards i played was uh three skill drains so yeah th this card is insane <laughs> uh it, yeah it, it's insane i cannot say anything else um, it gave me a lot of duels uh, i think that you can play the deck without them and you can still win without any problem but um it's like you're putting yourself on a self-handicap, even if people say that this is not like the best card for Labyrinth, but this card is insane because yeah. it puts your opponent in a really heavy disadvantage and you have like 3k big sticks. And so, yeah, there's good. no reason to not play Skill Drain on this deck. And Skill Drain is a very skillful card. If currently it's at 3, why not play it, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, um, and, yep, and that's uh, 40 cards, correct? Yeah, it's 40 cards in the main deck. All right, sounds good. Um, now I'll jump into the extra deck. I played a uh, triple chaos angel. Um, the reason behind three is just because of the extravagance. But this this is an insane card in this deck because you can make it out with uh, lady lady or lovely plus a story tour B. It's pretty easy just to perform this card, and the attack and the effect are really good. Um, in this event, I just special summoned this guy like twice, but on testing and on local tournaments and regionals, this card just came out a lot. This is a really good card. Uh, then I played Chumu Cracker. I was thinking between two or three because this is another card that comes out uh, because there is a little combo that you special summon Chaos Angel. Then with another monster you have uh, get from Moonkracker, this card of card, special summon back this guy and banish another card because this this effect is not once per turn and it is not when it's synchro summon, it's when it's a special summon. This this card is insane. And Moonkracker uh, has the purpose to to special summon like the lovely uh, that you have on graveyard. So yeah, it, it's pretty amazing. Maybe I'm gonna pump it up to three. Um, 
I play one Baguska because I play three Ariana. Um, didn't come in the event, but it does come out on testing. So yeah, it's it's a pretty good card. One Goddess of the Underworld. Um, this card is 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 it's good to it's a good out to big monsters that the deck can't uh, regularly handle. Um, it actually came out in the tournament. Uh, it was against the mirror match just to take out like uh, my opponent's lady. It was a really awkward situation, but this this for um Kevin Clutch was, was so good. Um, one Nightmare Phoenix. Um, I only play this card if I had like an issue that someone actually sided against me cards like Royal Decree, but um, didn't happen on this event. Though so you have the space, so why not to play it? And it's a fiend, so you can sp uh, every monster that you can special summon, it's a fiend monster. Um, and that's all for the things that I can special summon. And the other cards that are like food for punishment are two Mentes, um, self explanatory, uh, one Bucephalus, two Baruras, uh, one Malong. Uh, I played Malong instead of the third Entis because I wanted to have like um, a, a different out for monsters, not only popping. Because, uh, for example, like his branded is really good um, to to compose the monster instead of popping up. For example, instead of destroying all the on or destroying Aquarius, it's just it's just better to return and switch, switch. So that's why I play one copy of this. And this, yeah, it actually did came out. And one Link Rebo, I was expecting someone funny to uh, special summon Nibli from me, but uh, it didn't happen. So maybe I'm going to cut this. And that was all for the extra deck. And last but not least, uh, side deck. So I played one call by the grave, um, maybe for a bell or an ash that are the most um, uh, hurtful cards for this deck. Um, one barrier, if I played against like against a Sorcerer deck, a Despia deck, or a heavy mono summon deck. So yeah, this actually came against Sorcerer, so it was really good. Uh, one uh, deck devastator, uh, this was against uh, almost purely uh, solely against uh, Sprite. It did come out like thrice, so yeah, it was pretty good. It made, it made the work, and one Epidemic, this is the best card of the side deck. This should be banned. Um, thanks to this card, I won my rounds against uh, Runic Sprite. So yeah, th this card is insane. Um, three evenly matched, um, it was okay. Uh, I actually, it actually gave me the win in top 64. Uh, alongside with the Gamma Seals. So it was like the perfect combo against Cash. My Cash Jira opponent just overextended. I evenly matched them, then Kaiju their, in their Arise Heart, and it was GG. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it was insane. It was insane. The, it was the OTK. And lastly, I played three Magnemots, um, one Driss Worm, and one um, Baldrake. They were pretty okay. I used this card against Mirror Match, against Pride, against... I actually played against a PK, so it worked. Uh, it was intended to for Branded. I expected that I will face like a lot of Branded, but I, mm -hmm. I, I faced none. And I played it against um, Sorcel. Because uh, Ashuna is a card and Eclash is a card, and just being able to have like this like kind of big big sticks, it was really good. It actually gave me a win. The Baldrake gave me a win against uh, Sorcel. So yeah, and that's it for my side deck and uh, for the deck. All right. Uh, two questions before ending this video. Um, do you remember sure. uh, your matchups throughout the rounds that you played? Sure, uh, I have them here. Um, so I played. Against uh, Runic Sprite in the first round, second it was a Matmek, third was Kishtira, then Sorcel, and those were wins. In the five round, I lost against Runic Evil Sprite. Um, nothing that I could okay, that I could do there. Um, on the seven, on the sixth, I went against Cash. 
on seventh, uh, a mirror match, eight uh, super heavy samurai on the last round of the first day. Then at the start of this of the second day, it was against the cash. I think that uh, I lost against that guy, but I th that's like the only match that I actually did a misplay, and it cost me the duel. And on the tenth round, I uh, it was like an, against a Neville Sprite. So I ended up a two on on rounds and on, t on top sixty four, uh, I was against the Kishira. Then top thirty two Brave PK, top sixteen every Sprite every Runic, which was a really tough matchup because my opponent was really good. And uh, sadly, uh, I lost on top eight on yeah on top eight against the Pearly. He was started against a really good player. He actually went to Worlds. Um, uh, yeah, I went. I lost uh, to one, one, two, and yeah, those were my matchups. Dang, that is a lot of cash and sprites throughout the round. So it's good to uh, get some knowledge since uh, national is coming up for North America. Um, and a second question is that will you change anything about your list throughout um the tournament? Mm -hmm. So changes that I will make, uh, it, it was definitely the bell. Bell was. It was a really bad decision on my tech building. Maybe I will change it for Baylor's or maybe Neveros because I think that even Baylor is not like the best hand of the format, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty versatile. So it, 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 you can actually activate it against almost every deck. So uh, maybe it's a good call. And Neveros is a really good card that a lot of players do not respect. Mm -hmm. So maybe th those kind of changes uh, will be made to cut. My side deck was pretty okay. Uh, I I sided out like every card on, on it. I used every card on the tournament. I I think that maybe those changes on my high hand traps uh, will be the the, the changes. But um, other than else, uh, everything was perfect. The deck the deck made made the their job. So yeah. I think that the deck was pretty good. All right, sounds good. Congrats again for making top A, Reen. I'm um, hopeful to see you more in the future. And uh, yeah, we'll see you more soon in the future. Your boys, everyone, 92 is signing out. Peace.